admit I'm sorry <laughs> um, I haven't uploaded in a while we're not gonna address it we're just gonna keep it moving <laughs> we're just going to keep it moving but anyway um, thank you for clicking on this video in today's video I'm going to be showing you all the things that I got this Christmas and for New Year's everything I bought for myself I uh, have a lot of stuff well it's not a lot but it yeah, it kind of is a lot, but let's just start anyway. First, I have this bag. So, <laughs> obviously, um, I'm someone who likes horror or fantasy novels. I'm not usually someone who just reads normal novels unless, unless they're like classics, you know, all the butt twist, then, then, those kind of things. But I wanted to get some books for the winter season, so I got three different books. The first book I have right here is A Victorian Mystery, Mrs. Jeffries and the Midwinter Murders. So it says here, if you like Downtown Abbey, you'll love Mrs. Jeffries. The first thing that drew me to this, I'm not gonna lie, aside from the fact that it was a winter um, Christmas Eve book. I love, love, love the way it looks. I wonder how they're going to bring in the spirit of wintertime and Christmas into it. it. It's obviously a wintry book. I mean, in the front cover you literally see a greenhouse and the greenhouse has Christmas decorations inside of it. So it's obviously a winter book. I just wonder how exactly they're, they're going to incorporate it because it could just be a murder, a murder mystery. Why exactly is it based in winter? How exactly are they going to do that? So I'm very excited to get into this book. Now, the second book I got is A Christmas Carol Murder. <laughs> are you seeing a theme here? They're all like murder mysteries. It says A Christmas Carol Murder. A Dickens of a Crime. So Charles Dickens and his fiancée Kate, right? Kate are out with friends, are out with friends when they find a body and basically I think they're going to try and solve the mystery together. Again, I'm excited to read this. I've been trying to get into more mysteries, you know, and I do like Charles Dickens. Even though this, this isn't a Dickens book, I wonder how it's going to be written so it matches up with his work, I don't know. I'm not sure what to expect from the book, I don't know what the writing style is going to be like because I've never read any of these this author's work so... It's always nice to discover new authors, I feel like I'm definitely that person who likes to go back to stuff that she's already read, definitely. And to keep in the spirit of a Dickens-inspired story, I have A Christmas Carol and Other Stories by Charles Dickens. So the other stories in this book are The Chimes and The Haunted Men. I haven't read this book either. <laughs> I don't know. I like waiting. I like waiting to talk about this stuff before I actually read it. But yeah, I'm really excited to read this book. I was deliberately looking for like a book like this that just had short stories in like a format like this. And I wanted to read more Charles Dickens stuff. So this was the perfect thing to get. A Christmas Carol, I already, I already know the story, but the other two, I'm not familiar with them. So I'm really excited to get into this. I want to see, like I, like I said, I really haven't done much research into Charles Dickens. I literally, I think my only book I've read by him is Oliver Twist. And I want to see how these stories connect, how, you know, his writing style flows into other things. I know people do different editions of books, but I want to see how 
his world, the way he sees the world, the way he sees his stories are portrayed in the other books and see like how close they are, if that makes sense. Anyway, I got myself books. That's that's the ideal present for someone like me, to be honest. So yeah. Now, I have a specific thrift store that I love, absolutely love to go to. No, not thrift store, vintage bookstore. BMV Vintage Bookstore at Edlington. It's mwah, it's 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 wonderful. I found I found so many books there. I'm going to do a separate video because I have so many new books that I want to show you and I'm like if I keep the one video this video is gonna be 40 minutes long because I talk a lot but anyway I used to do a lot of puzzles when I was younger and I haven't done that in a while so I decided to go to the BMV and buy some puzzles they sell so many different things so many so much cute stuff and I went to buy a puzzle. I was like, I want like a fashion puzzle, but I couldn't find one. The ones I saw, they were really pretty. I'll put up an uh, image here so you can see the ones that I saw, but I just wanted something else. And I found this Megan Hess, the Masters of Italian Fashion Inspired Puzzle. It has a thousand pieces. Oh my God. It says here, recommended for ages 10. <laughs> 10 year olds do thousand, thousand piece puzzles? Are you serious? Well, I guess. I don't know, I just really wanted it. It was really pretty, it was like $10, I, I guess. Yeah, I think it was $10 or $14. It was really affordable. And I was like, yo, like it is so festive. Look, all the glittery black outfits, all the red, the green. It's kind of festive, I don't know. Even if it wasn't, I'd still get it. Because it was, even if it was blue. I mean, blue is kind of a festive color. Most colors are kind of festive. I mean, uh, I guess orange isn't Christmassy, you know? Kind of, it's more fall. But anyway, anyway, I got it because I wanted to do a puzzle and I was like, this is so pretty. So I got it. I got another puzzle. <laughs> it's for much younger kids, but it was so pretty, I couldn't resist. You guys remember Angelina Ballerina? I was like, if this does not remind me of her, it's so pretty. It's like only 60 pieces, but I, I got it just honestly more as a collection piece. And I didn't even know, because I didn't read the, the box, it has a book inside. This is such a cute gift to give to like your younger niece or nephew, anyone who likes pink or likes puzzles. I got it for myself because like I said, I just wanted puzzles and I just really like the color scheme. The, the drawing kind of reminds me of like Carrie Hess. I think it's Carrie Hess, the phone kind of, um, the phone case drawings, I'll put an image to, to explain what I'm talking about, but it's so cute and it's so, I don't know, it's really charming, if you get what I'm saying. Anyway, this is the book right here. It is so pretty. It has little pictures and stories. It's just so charming. I definitely buy this and give this to my little sister if she was younger. I haven't done the puzzle yet because I wanted to talk about it first, but I'm really excited. It's gonna be an easy puzzle, like it's 60 pieces, come on. But it's cute and I like it, so yeah. So I got some accessories like bags, shoes, coats. <clears throat> I've been looking for like new purses i don't really have that many purses i think i have like eight and i just wanted i wanted a basic black kind of tote bag or just something close to that that i could wear anywhere that would go with anything and most of my black i have only two black purses and they're really small and one is black and brown the other is black and it has it's kind of tufted and it's just a lot. I just wanted something really simple. So I went on my current favorite site to shop on. 
Urban Revivo. And I found this really cute bag right here. God, the light made it, makes it look so cheap, but it's honestly just such a cute bag. Do you see that? It's bigger than I expected it to be. I thought it would be like to here, but it's bigger than I expected it to be. So I can put a lot of stuff in here. I love like the buckle thing over here. It's really, really pretty. And I can extend or make the hand shorter so it can be like shoulder bag or, you know, I just really like it. It's just a simple black bag. It's cute. It will go with everything I have, except anything that has silver, I guess. But it's really cute and I really like it and I'm so happy that I got it. The next bag is so cute. Just look at this. Oh my God. This is the front. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cute. It's called like an Argyle. Argyle. I don't know what that is, but it's so pretty. I feel like it gives me, it looks expensive basically. It looks like something you could buy from a designer, at least in my eyes. Maybe Chanel, maybe not, maybe Dior. I don't know. It just looks high end and it feels really high end there was a bigger version and I think I'm gonna get it later 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 because we don't spend too much money I'm going to get it later but I'm really so happy that I got this like it is so pretty it, the thing I like about this as well is you can either have it as a handbag or it has like a belt and you can really shorten the, the this part of it so that you can have it as a shoulder bag or you can have it like a crossbody there's a lot of ways to wear the bag it's a really simple inside it's just a really simple bag that looks really high end and it feels really good quality i'm really happy that i bought it i feel like i can wear this with a lot i like the like beige color and I feel like it fits the shoes that I got as well. So this will segue right into the shoes and I can show you what I mean. So I shopped at uh, Charles and Keith for the first time. I've been wanting to get their shoes. Their ballet flats are to die for. They're so cute. They are so cute. So I wanted to get something from them. I wanted to get loafers because it's it's the, it, the weather is cold. I can't be wearing ballet flats. I live in Canada. I can't be wearing ballet flats during the winter time. So I went ahead and I got some loafers and let me tell you, they are so cute. See what I mean? It's like the same color as my the bag that I just showed you. It's really good quality. It came in like five days. It ships from the Philippines and it didn't take oh, it didn't take long at all. These are really long, which I appreciate. I have um, size 41 feet and sometimes the 41 shoes I get end up being too too short or too like thin. These are really thin, but they like I don't know if it's the material, the way they construct them, it still feels really, really comfortable. I really like them. I love like the pearls they put across it. I really like the fabric over here that they used. It kind of it reminds me, you know the trench coats that you get, the really light trench coats? The insides usually have this kind of uh, pattern. I'll show you up close because the camera is not doing the shoes justice. They're really pretty. They're really cute. And yeah, it's one of the best things that I got. Now, let's talk winter clothes. So, I'm going to put up some images here so you can really see what the coats look like. I got some coats from Urban Revivo. And, oof, they are so cute. They are so pretty. Um, okay. 
The first one I have is this beige coat. I'll have to show you this beige wool coat. This coat is a tab lighter but it's like oversized so this is the kind of coat that I can layer a lot of stuff under and have it look like really cute on top it has like a neck thing that you can put up as a turtleneck just in case like you're, you don't have a turtleneck or you don't have a scarf or your turtleneck is not enough everything it it's so huge the hands are huge which is, which is great for the days that I want to wear bigger sweaters it's really really cute really pretty the one downside to it i would say is that the back is kind of open like this so air those does flow in but i'm that person who wears like tights pantyhose leggings and then pants so it doesn't really matter for me to be honest i dress warm enough but the days where i'm just throwing things on i wouldn't really go for this it is a good coat, it's just a bit lighter than I thought it would be. But somehow I really like that, like I said, because I can layer so much stuff under this. It is so big and it's so cute. I love the color as well. I have been looking for a white coat for so long and I couldn't find like a pristine white one, but this is as, as close as I could get without having to spend like a thousand dollars. I found some alternatives on like uh, Bluehoo and Dynamite, but the reviews weren't good. No one has reviewed this yet, but it's from Urban Vivo, and I've been ordering stuff from them for so for a while now, and I've liked everything. Some sizing I I get wrong simply because of me, not because of them. But ev the quality is always good, so I'm so glad I took the plunge and I got it. I finally have the white coat I've been wanting, and I'm happy. Now, the last thing I want to show you, I got a pink coat. Like, what? It is so cute. This one is big. In fact, I feel like I should have gotten it in the bigger size. This is perfect. It's, a, it's the perfect size. The problem is I can't wear my chunky sweaters underneath, which isn't really a problem because unlike the other one, it's not, it's a, it's a lot bigger. It's a lot thicker. Sorry, it's a lot thicker. I think it's heavy duty. It's from Urban Vivo as well. It's this pretty, should I say mauve pink? It's a bit warmer than it's coming off on camera, but it's not like a really warm pink. It's just, it's beautiful. And I love the buttons. They're really simple. They're just these gold buttons. So cute. I have like this white dress inside. I'm just gonna style them together. It looks so great and honestly I love the way it looks I love the way it feels I wish the waist was a bit more cinched but I mean it didn't look cinched in the photo so it's not really their problem it's a nice classic wool coat and it's pretty long if I do say so myself it's not floor length which I'm kind of I do like floor length coats I just think they look really cute. I, I just really like it. I love the color of the pink. It's not shouty pink. It's really mild and can go with a lot of things. And I love how thick it is. It has pockets. They both have pockets, which I love. Can you imagine? I don't know why I was so, I'm always so impressed when like my things come with pockets. But yeah, I really like this. I really like it a lot. I haven't worn it that much, but I will. I like it a lot. And this would be perfect for spring. During the springtime, I wear this. I won't have to lay as much stuff underneath. It'll be cute either way, because it's, cause it's pink. And pink is like, I feel like I might turn into like Freddie my love or something with the way things are going. Like I want pink hair as well. I think I'm going to do that get pink hair yeah but yeah the way things are going I think I might be getting more and more obsessed with pink but anyway that's that's what I got for the holidays I went all out <laughs> I really did so I hope you enjoyed this video bye love you <laughs>